Hey, this is Chris from DocketWise, and in this video, I'm going to go over customizable invitation permissions for smart forms. When inviting a client or a contact to a smart form questionnaire, you are able to customize the access of the invitation, in essence, allowing access to only certain tabs. So in this demo, we're just going to be going over a simple H1B case. So let's open up the matter and then go to the forms tab. Here, let's just actually jump into the form. And I can show you here, we have the different tabs of the smart form. We have application, we have the beneficiary, and we also have the petitioner. So we can basically prohibit or allow access to only certain tabs of these three in this case. So let's go back to the matter and we'll invite the contacts from outside. Let's say we want to invite the petitioner. We'll click here on send invite. This is also something that can be done from within the smart form questionnaire, but I will just be showing how to do it from this method. So we'll click invite a contact. Let's indicate the petitioning company. Let's say we want a shareable link and we'll click the box for customized access. Let's say we want them only to be filling information on the application tab, as well as information for themselves, the petitioning company. Here we'll generate the link. And now we have successfully copied that link. You do see we have other options as well for email, text messaging, and client portal. So now that I have copied the link, I'm going to go ahead into an incognito tab and just open up that invitation so I can show you how this will appear for the petitioning company. Here we are opening the invitation. We can see the only tabs that are shown here to which the petitioner has access to this invitation are the application tab and also the tab to fill out information for themselves, the petitioning company. Now we can go back into DocketWise and let's say we want to send out another invitation um, to the employee. So we can click here. We'll click on invite a contact. We'll indicate the um, immigrant employee. And let's also do a shareable link here. So now we'll customize access. And let's say we only want to have them to have permission to fill out information um, regarding themselves. So we'll click generate invite link here. Now from here, we'll open up an incognito window just to reflect how this will appear for the beneficiary. Here we can see that the only tab that is appearing is information to be filled in by the beneficiary of this H1B questionnaire. 